What's good, YouTube? Back with another video. Doing an unboxing today on some stuff that I got for my uh, my uh, center console build that I was telling y'all about in the last video. So, got Amazon, of course. Check it out. Got the... I think these are the cups. Let me put y'all down so I can open this. One right. second back. Yeah, these are the stainless steel cups I ordered, but these mugs, huge. I didn't expect them to be this freaking big. Man, I put my whole hand in there, but I guess that's cool. I can put like a one of those big bottles of Zocker or something like that in there, man. This thing is huge. So, I got my two cup holders for the, uh, for the center console. Pull those out. Yeah, so, got the two center console cups. So, let's see what other goodies I got in here. In the big box. I'm gonna bust these later. I like popping these things. But we'll do that later. This, what is this? I can't even remember what I ordered. Oh yeah. This is the, the uh, this is the, uh, Cigarette lighter and voltmeter with the two USBs and everything. Let me put y'all down. I'm gonna pull this out real quick. Okay. See, it still got the screw, got the four screws in there. But here you go, right here. Got an on and off switch. Got the. I can pull this off with one hand. This thing is on that tight. There we go. So, we got the 12 volt cigarette lighter. Just in case somebody rolling with me and they brought their own thing. And then I got the two uh, USB ports. And they go all the wiring under here. So definitely I'm going to hook this up to my existing cigarette lighter for power. Because I don't smoke. So I don't use that anyway. So I'm going to connect that. Like I said, that's going to go inside of the in the console. Now that I see how big these cups is, though, I'm really trying to figure out, like, this going to be a big-ass uh, <laughs> center console to fit these cup holders in. I might have to order me some smaller ones. But, we'll see. And then, last but not least, I was hooking up my sound systems and stuff, and I'm, like, using zero gauge and Two, uh, two aux zero gauge and all of that. You know, it's kind of tough. Uh, go ahead and um, splicing the wires and uh, splicing the wires and and connecting them together and everything. You know, it's kind of tough to do that. Uh, you know, with regular. Okay, but I'm gonna show you all something in a minute. As soon as I open this, I think I open it from the wrong side. But check, they sent me some gloves. <laughs> yeah, but this right here is what I use. I use these to cut zero gauge wire, and you know, like go around it or whatever, and pull the wire off and stuff like that and I got another set in here too that I got these right here too and then when the wire is super thick I use these right here so 
got these, I think, from Harbor Freight or something like that. They was they was pretty cheap. Well, you know what? I think I got them from Lowe's. I think that was about 20 bucks, something like that. But yeah, these right here cutting through whatever. I didn't cut some locks with those already too. So yeah, they definitely cut wide. But anyway, I bought one of these because I saw this on another YouTube channel where the guy was recommending that you get one of these, especially if you're using it for zero gauge wire and stuff. This is my scar box from the last video. You see the Cadillac still ain't came back yet, so I ain't had a chance to put them in. Hopefully I get it soon, guys. You will be the first to know. So I got a hydraulic crimping tool off of uh, Amazon. It was like, I want to say $53, something like that. 50, 53, 57. It wasn't no more than $55, 57 at the moment. I don't even think it was 57 I think it was a 52 or 53 something like that. And then, like I said, the hydraulic crimping tool, taking this thing off. This thing, it clips zero gauge, well, should I say it clips, clips, crimps from zero gauge to four zero gauge. So the welding wire that I bought to go in the Cadillac uh, is two zero gauge. What is it? Two AUG zero gauge, I think that's the how you say it. So I definitely needed something huge. So it got from six gauge all the way up to four zero. So I'm gonna read the instructions, which don't look like much to, uh, if it's anything in here at all, to tell you how to use it, but uh, they gave me some more O-rings so I guess in case anything go wrong later on down the line. But anyway, so I got this to make my life a little easier when it come down to crimping those uh, copper wires and copper uh, connectors and everything like that. So uh, from the, what I saw on the YouTube video, it's definitely making life a whole lot easier, making the crimps a whole lot safer and more secure. And then you put the shrink wrap, heat shrink on it, and, uh, you know, make it even more uh, secure and everything. So that's my unboxing so far. So I'm getting all this stuff. Oh, and I told y'all last video, I got the router table connected. You see it's dusty. I even used it already. And I also got the table set up my uh my table saw i use that too so i was just playing around with it i cut my mdf board that i had that was my scrap sheet that i had connected my amps and stuff on so let me show y'all what it do so now on the router table look at this cut that it made i was just playing around to see what the round over bit looked like Check that out. That is like super smooth. Look like a, a top of a dresser or something, like a tabletop or something like that. So this the only bit that I've played with so far is called the round over bit. So it looked pretty good. So I'm excited to uh, start working on the, um, working on the, uh, in the console so yeah definitely stay tuned i'm gonna be working on that send a console i've been watching a whole lot of videos on people that's done it and trying to see if i can match the the way that they do they they lines and they designs and stuff on it and stuff like that if i can figure out the bit that they use to do the different things and just try it on mine once i figure that out yeah it's on and popping and I'm gonna be uh I'm gonna make me one and see how that works. I'm gonna show y'all real quick this cup holder. Let's 
see how this thing looks. Let me get the other one too. So I can see how far or how wide this thing is gonna be. So check it out. too bad. I got an old school uh, center console thing or cup holder or whatever they used to be called back in the day. So this thing right here. These here is definitely bigger than these. I think these right here can fit that in there like that. It can fit the bottom piece in there. So even sitting them like this, that's not too bad. So yeah, that's not too bad. So I mean, I can stretch them out just a little bit more. And so what I decided to do, I'm gonna put the strip right here maybe i'll put my my uh, eq right here then i'm gonna try to put an ipod ipad right here and actually i think that oh you know what i forgot about my smd voltmeters and everything like that too i need to have a spot for those so yeah the, my uh panel gonna be a little big but we're going to do a rough draft as soon as I can. But anyway, like, you, like and subscribe. Shit. You know what I mean? Trying to get some subscribers, man. I mean, this this channel going to blow up once uh, the Cadillac come. And I mean, y'all see all the Cadillac content I done put on there and everything that I'm doing. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's time for you to start liking it because once it get back, it's going to be off the chain running, man. You don't want to miss nothing. So hit that like, hit the subscribe button, and hit the, uh, the bell on there so you can be notified every time I do something and we can get it going. So super content coming, I'm telling you. So go ahead and hit it up. Tell your friends. If you got a page, Share it on your page. Tell your people about it too, man. You never know who got old schools that want to, um, you know, get some stuff together. So talk to you later, YouTube.